Confederate artillerist who helped defend this position that we today refer to as Ramsers Hill noted that the combat between the Confederates of General Stephen Dodson Ramsers Division and the attacking columns of General George Crook's Army of West Virginia was like the combat between David and Goliath. On the afternoon of September 22nd, 1864, General Philip Sheridan's Army of the Shenandoah with more than about 32,000 men struck the Confederate line here at Fisher's Hill defended by Jubal Early's Army of the Valley which had slightly more than 10,000 men. This certainly was a combat that the David would not win. On September 21st of this year, join the Shenandoah Valley Battlefields Foundation for a 149th anniversary commemorative tour of the Battle of Fisher's Hill. The day will begin with a lecture in Strasburg, Virginia, which will set the stage to understand the fighting that took place on this hallowed ground on the afternoon of September 22nd, 1864, followed by about a 90 minute walking tour of this beautiful landscape of Ramsers Hill. The tour will include discussions of the heroism and gallantry exhibited by soldiers on both sides during the battle, command decisions, and of course the routing of the Confederates from this position of Ramsers Hill. But in addition to the wonderful discussions we'll have that morning, we also will look at how the, the role of the, of the battlefield in the aftermath of the Civil War and the role that it served as a stage for post-war reunion and reconciliation among former enemies. So I do hope that you will come and join us on this 149th anniversary to learn and understand not only about the Battle of Fisher's Hill, but how this battle opened up the doorway for General Philip Sheridan's Army of the Shenandoah to bring waste and cataclysmic destruction to the Shenandoah Valley in that period in late September and early October known as the Burning, an event which had impacted hundreds and thousands of lives of individuals in the Shenandoah Valley. So please join us.